Hello and welcome to Millam Station on the Cumbrian coastline. It is one of the busiest stations on the line and I've come back for another visit because I want to take a closer look at the Heritage and Arts Centre on Platform 1 and you'll see more of that later in the video. It's good to see that passenger numbers using the station are on the increase with numbers around 164,000 for the year 2021-22, although numbers were much higher than that before the COVID pandemic when they reached about 220,000. I was intrigued to find this disused railway line behind the wall of Platform 2. Until 1968, there was a short Goods only branch line, which ran from Millham to the ironworks at Hodborough. The line was abandoned after the works at Hodborough closed, but it's really delightful to see this disused track bed still in place. In its day, the Hodborough Mining Company was the largest iron mine in the world. The site of the former ironworks is now being converted into an RSPB nature reserve. Market Square at Millham remains a place where local residents gather to mark special occasions. Even back in Victorian times, the square was the hub of Millham where every bus terminated, every parade and every celebration started and lots of marriages were launched. The clock tower is probably Millham's most recognisable building. It was erected in 1879 and topped with a large copper dome with a clock on three faces. Standing in front of the clock tower is this commemorative striking sculpture commemorating Millam's mining heritage. Designed by Colin Telfer, it's made from resin mixed with iron ore dust and it stands on a brick and sandstone plinth with carvings illustrating scenes from Millam's mining past. By the 12th century, there was a fortified residence at Millam to protect the town from raids across the border by Robert the Bruce, King of Scotland. The castle was held by the Huddleston family who were Catholics and Royalist sympathisers in the Civil War, and it was attacked by parliamentary soldiers in 1644. Despite some repairs being carried out after the Civil War, the castle was allowed to decay, and most of it fell into ruin. Hotborough RSPB Reserve is a nature reserve run by the Royal Society for the protection of birds. The nature reserve was purchased by the RSPB in 1986 and it occupies the site where iron ore was mined until the 1960s. Most of the area of the reserve is taken up by Hotbarrow Lagoon, which is a flooded part of the former mine. It's a triple SI and an important bird area which is renowned for large numbers of wildfowl, especially during the winter months. The Grade II listed St George's Church is an active Anglian parish church, which was built between 1874 and 1877. The exterior of the church, as well as most of the internal fixtures and fittings, were designed by the renowned Lancashire architects, Paley and Austin. 
The organ was manufactured by Albert Keats, who was a pipe organ manufacturer in Sheffield. The church has six bells, all of which were cast by John Warner and Sons, with the oldest dating from 1876. In fact, it was John Warner and Sons who went on to manufacture the original bells for Big Ben in London. Well, I've now returned to Millham Station and I'm going to go and visit the Heritage and Arts Centre on Platform 1. The centre is celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2023. There are numerous displays showcasing the history and heritage of Millham and the surrounding areas. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing the displays about RAF Millham and the role that it played during the dark days of World War II. And what a way to start my tour with this superb model railway. The railways played a huge role in the development of Millham and I was really taken with the attention to detail in this display. It's breathtaking. This really takes me back to my childhood and some of the toy train sets that I had when I was growing up. <laughs> I have to say, you could spend hours in this room. It's just wonderful. I can hardly bear to tear myself away from this, but there's so much more to see and experience in this wonderful museum.
Well, that was really special. These unique collections and artefacts which I've just seen are housed in specially themed rooms in the museum and they echo back to a time when this railway station at Millham was a bustling and noisy place where steam engines would haul passengers and there was freight traffic going to and from the ironworks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. The Cumbrian coastline never disappoints and each of the 26 stations that link Carlisle with Barrow and Furness enable you to explore hidden places, peaceful spaces and to walk in the footsteps of history. A visit to the Heritage and Arts Centre here at Millham Station is well recommended. Well that's it for this railway journey. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So until the next time, from me Stephen Bennett, take care. Bye bye.